Hello, this is Wampire here to talk about a very, very basic movement in the Filipino martial arts, which has to do with opening and closing, right? Uh, if you look at, for instance, like the Heaven Six, and that's pretty much where this movement comes from. If you look at the Heaven Six, when, when we're executing the Heaven Six, and I'll just keep going like this. If you look at my arms at this point, right? Boom, boom. There's a time where my arms are open and there's a time where it closes. Closes meaning it crosses. So my the area here becomes closed and then the area here becomes open. So once again, boom, 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 boom. If you look at the arms doing the heaven six, you see right there that's open, this is closed. See, this is closed. Boom, boom, open, closed, boom open close so no matter uh what kind of combo you change it to it's made up of opening and closing the arms right that's what it comes down to so i want to take a further look into opening and closing and how we can like kind of make that to our advantage right so first off is just adding extra power. So if, if you're looking at your punches, right? You're, so you're throwing boom, 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 boom. You're throwing your punches, great. We can now throw the punches like this and then add the shoulder in there. And when I do that, you, you see this motion? I throw my punch and I do this. So this is now the open motion. I'm opening, okay? And then the next one is the opposite of that. So I'm going to throw the punch here, and I'm going to close. See? So right here, closing. So I, of course I could do it with the right hand too. So I throw my punch, and rather than going this way, which was the open, you see my, my arms are open, I'm going to come here, and now you can see my arms, they close. So if I bring it inwards to the body, it closes. If I bring it outwards, it opens. So that's the basic idea. Now, how could we use that to our advantage? Um, number one is just by doing those, you get a, a little bit extra more power, okay? So rather than just going straight like this, you, so you can see the, the snap, whether it's going out or, or in. So you're getting that extra, so right when it makes the contact, you're adding inwards or outwards just to give you a little bit more. So just a tiny bit more snap. But the other, the other um, benefit really comes down to when you do this motion, boom, and when you go like this, you see how that turns my body because I'm involving the body right there. So I throw the punch here and I put the shoulder. So when I put the shoulder, it brings my arm down and you see I just created more distance from this guy, and, and this is great. I want to keep that distance. So it gets me out of there, okay, at the 45 degree, in other words, a diagonal angle away from my opponent, rather than just stepping back, where they could pursue me much, much easier. But if I hit and I come this way, they have to turn and pursue. So I'm making them do two things so unless they're used to multitasking like that, it's, it's going to help me out, right? So the other one, which is where I'm going, I'm striking this way, and I'm bringing it inwards. So when you bring it inwards, same thing. See what it does to my body. So right here, and then I want to close, right? No body, just closing the arm. But if I involve the shoulder and everything, so right here, you can see, it forces me once again at that 45 degree angle, but this time I'm going in that direction rather than the left side. I'm going to the right side. So boom, and that once again gets me out of there, create some space, so keep the distance, gets me out of there, boom. And I'm able to uh, defend myself that way. So once again, it's better than just going straight backwards you know, defending, whatever, where they could just pursue me. So we're working the angles there. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.